Okay, so what you're gonna need is a standard Arduino Uno, a motor shield for the Arduino Uno. You're gonna need a robot chassis. There are many online. Um, I'm just using this one with just two simple motors. There are many different types of chassis you can use. You can use a giant one, you can use um, different types of treads. You can use medium, more medium sized ones. Um, just as long as they have two motors, um, you should be fine. Because Arduino motor shields, um, they only take a certain amount of power. So if you're playing around with um, different types of power and what kind of chassis you can use, I highly recommend using like smaller chassis because they take less power and they can go much faster. You're gonna need some power um, for your Arduino and you're going to need a programming cord so you can program the Arduino and upload um, files to the Arduino from the computer. Okay, so for tools, um, you're gonna need a hot glue gun, um, you're gonna need some scissors, and you may end up using um, solder. Then take your Arduino Uno and your Arduino motor shield and connect both of them just like any other Arduino shield. And make sure not to bend the um, little prongs on both the Arduino Uno and the motor shield. Now that you have your chassis and Arduino nailed down, now what you're going to want to do is connect both of them. It says motor A and motor B. Um, and it's pretty much just left and right. Um, as you go into programming later, you'll learn how to um, actually operate motor A and motor B. There's four wires, and there are um, six of these ports. Um, so there are two for the power, and the other four are for your motors. So all you do is um, take a set. Um, there are two sets. Take a set of um, wires on the motor, um, and then plug it in directly to either motor A or motor B. After you've connected the motor wires and put them in the Arduino motor shield holes, what you're going to want to do is take a screwdriver, screw them in, make sure they're tight, and I'm going to do this to each one, and make sure to leave these two blank. We're going to use those later. So in the end, it should end up looking like this. When you're finished with your chassis, now it's time to start programming. Okay, now go to Arduino. Uh, CC, the Arduino home website, click download, scroll down and click whatever operating system you have on Mac OS and click that. Just download. And it should start downloading. Okay, now that you've installed the Arduino software, uh, the window should end up working like this. Now you may be thinking, oh wow, I need to code. Well, actually you don't. I actually did all the coding beforehand. Um, I set up all the commands, so there's a forwards command, backwards commands, left and right commands. So all you need to do is copy and paste from the description of this video, and you can pretty much make the robot do whatever you want. You can leave this code right here that's pre-made for you, paste the setup code, which is go forwards, and just backwards, and then we'll um, so what loop is right here, that pretty much the signal is when the program's going to end. So this is the start of the program, this is the end of the program. So for my first command, what I'm going to do is go down to void loop, press return twice, just paste the board commands right here. Then after that, I want it to go backwards, so I get that code. Paste it, so it goes forwards and backwards. And then if I wanted it to turn, all I have to do is get the code for turning, paste it, and I'm done. Go and click um, verify sketch, make sure it's compiled, and done compiling, that means the code's right. Everything in the code's correct. And you're ready to upload. Okay, so now you're gonna need your um, USB cable to connect the Arduino to the computer. Is get your Arduino um, Arduino board and plug it in to this plug right here. Now what you're gonna do is take the USB and plug it directly into your computer, as so. Now that you've connected your robot to your computer, what you're gonna wanna do is go to um, sketch after you've verified it go to tools and click board then go to port 
and USB modem should be showing up. Now you're gonna go and click upload. This should say done uploading. And when your robot starts moving, you know it's good to go. And the light should also be going on and off. And as you can see, it's working. It's going forward. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope that it worked for you. Um, it certainly was really fun making it, um, and I hoped it was an awesome experience for all of you uh, making the robot. It took me so long to figure this out. I've had to go to many, many, many different books, websites, you name it. Um, but now I'm sharing my knowledge with everyone else, which I'm really excited about. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you subscribe. This is actually my first video. So, um, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.